This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the All-Star uh, Weekend Contest. I didn't watch everything and I couldn't watch everything because right before the three-point contest, actually it was in the middle of the skills competition which I um I don't even know who won that cuz I didn't I wasn't really paying attention but it doesn't matter cuz right in the middle of the skills competition my fucking power went out which was so fucking annoying I was like god damn now understand this at the time it went out we were in the middle of like high winds white out type of snow and the temperature went from the 30s to the teens in a matter of like maybe an hour. So no power <laughs> at 9 p.m. Yeah, it went around out around 8:30, 9 p.m. And it was out until about 11, 11:30. So yeah, I had no power for three hours. Yo, that shit was fucking crazy. It was ridiculous. I had to go outside and get a um. A battery charger that I have, a portable car battery charger that ha happened to have a USB port, so I could at least keep my um phone <laughs> running. It was crazy um dealing with that. Thankfully, it did come back on last night though, because I don't I I didn't, don't even imagine trying to sleep through that night. It's actually 14 degrees right now during the day, so I could imagine what it bottomed out at. Um, while I was sleeping, good lord, it's winter's here. But anyway, so All Star Weekend competitions. Um, what I did see, I you know it was cool. Um, I was able to catch up though on the three point contest and the uh, slam dunk contest, which are the two competitions that you know for the most part we tend to care the most about. I guess you could say. Uh, so. Just to highlight, I did see the um, shooting stars thing. Chris Bosch's team won yet again. Um, it's funny because I tweeted out last night that I bet you if this was a back to the basket challenge, he would suck because this guy does not play with his back to the basket anymore. He's he's literally turned into a six ten spot up shooter. He he, I feel like he doesn't utilize his game to his potential but that's just my bone to pick with Chris Bosch I just I just hate that he went to Miami and just became a jump shooting um big man it, it irks me because one of the things that would have helped them not lose championships with if, if this guy was a would bang more I really think if he would bang more and get down in the post and play you know post game he could help by drawing the defense and to open up you know natural shooters you know, it, let me not go on to that, but he won that um, skills challenge. I don't even know who won the NBA skills challenge. I uh, got to look that up while um, Yeah, I'm going to have to Google this because I have no idea who won that. Let's go to Bleacher Report. Um, you know, it was fun watching the... Um, the shooting stars, though, because I got to see Dell Curry play with the Sun, which was awesome. That was really, really awesome. Um, you know, if a lot of you guys don't know who Dell Curry is, uh, Dell Curry was one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. He may not have been the, you know, most flashiest player, but the dude could shoot his ass off. And he passed that on to his sons. Um, that's why Steph Curry is such a light out shooter. Because his father, he is in his blood. It's in his blood to be um, a shooter. Um, that's right. I did see the end of the skills competition. Um, Beverly uh, from Houston won. And I remember I was commenting. I was like, yo, does Patrick Be Beverly wash? Because he looked kind of like 
dirty um, for some reason to me. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Patrick Beverly won the skills contest. Then we got to the three-point contest, and we pretty much got the result we probably were waiting for with the Splash Brothers, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry going at it at the end. And Steph Curry proved why he's his daddy's son by just putting on an amazing performance. I think at when Clay saw that, he was like, fuck, because he didn't do that well. I think he was just like, man, whatever, I ain't even going to try because this motherfucker here is just too nice. Stephen Curry is probably by far the best pure shooter in the league, which is crazy because this guy has developed his game all around. He's become such a um, good passer, and he can drive to the basket as well. He He's got a good first step, and, you know, he's not just a spot-up shooter. You know, most pure shooters tend to be just spot-up shooters, but this guy can go to the basket and take it to the rack as well, That, which is uh, just amazing. It's amazing. It, um, his dad has to be proud of that, um, but that was great. And then I looked up the slam dunk contest and saw all the dunks. It was decent, but definitely... Zach Levine, um, you know, a lot of people might want to say that his performance wasn't all that, but the thing that I picked up from his performance, and this is what I think a lot of you guys need to go back and look at his dunks so you could understand this. The guy wasn't really trying. He did those dunks with so little effort, and I think that's what made it great because he did some really good dunks. But it was like, for him, it looked like he was in warm-ups. And I'm scared to see what happens if this guy actually, like, comes into the dunk contest f formulating up something that he's been practicing beforehand. This looked like, the dunks that he was doing looked like dunks that he was doing in high school fucking around um, after practice. The way that he did them. Because it was just so smooth and effortless. It was just like his execution of those dunks was flawless. It was like this guy played for N1 and had been on the road doing these dunks all his life. And it was just like like the back of his hand to do these things. It, it, it was really good. It was really good. Um, I'm not going to go like some people I've seen in um, the comment section of the video clips of it I saw. And talking about um, he's better than Vince Carter. No, no, no. But if he keeps working, he can be the Vince, on the Vince Carter level. Because it, if you, I mean, and it's funny because uh, Kenny Smith, he always overhypes things. But one thing um, that he pointed out that is very true. If you notice just about all of um, Levine's dunks, he was always going up as he threw it down so he probably could have took off from a few steps away from the basket from where he was he can he can kill he could kill the foul line dunk because he was still ascending as he like you know came and finished his dunks off so he could probably come up with some pretty crazy things because of his youth and his athleticism that boy is only 19 and he's got quite a few years before he he'll be on the um a decline athletically so hopefully he comes back because he definitely can put on a great show year in year out i would love to see his misses he's the type of guy who his misses are probably better than a lot of people's makes um right now so hats off to you zach levine but overall it was cool um you know also we can at least for me isn't as grand as it used to be because they like to the, the one thing is I think they in efforts to try to make things a lot more appealing to people they try to do too much and throw too many gimmicks especially like one of the things I didn't like about the dunk contest was the fanfare thing people the props the setups and things like that I don't need that just do something amazing dunk wise I, I think just the creativity I think the creativity is still kind of there, but at the same time, uh, there is some lack of creativity to it as well. It's it's just weird. It's weird. I'm curious to know, what do you guys think will make the dunk contest better? I thought this year was decent, but a lot of people are still saying it's just not 
the same as it was back in the day. And I think part of that reason is, you know, it was this new discovery back in the day. Now these guys are better athletes than they were back in the day. And a lot of the stuff like with Zach Levine comes so natural that we may take it for granted. And that, that's my assessment. You know, and there's been a lot of dunks done over the years that maybe it's hard to come up with something. To, you know, the body can only do so much and you can only think of so much to do with the body as far as dunks are concerned, you know, without getting geeky and doing all these prop things like people, I guess, are doing now. I don't know, but you guys sound off and let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hit me up and I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Makers and I'm out. Deuces.